All right, Laura, so uh, some of my patients will know you from before on Facebook and you're going through treatment. Yes. And how are you doing? I'm doing great. Much better. Okay, Every tell me week. about a few things that are better. I sleep more. I feel more refreshed and healthy. Overall, I just feel like a much healthier person and I haven't felt like that in a really long time, so I'm excited about it. And I hear people starting to remark about how you look different. Yes, they say, oh, you have a healthier glow about you. You don't look like you're on death's doorstep. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a good thing. Yes. Thank you, I think. <laughs> okay, well, so uh, we're going to talk a little bit about essential oils today because a lot of our patients here on our Facebook page cannot come to Arkansas. And so any way that I can help them you know, it is a great thing, even though I can't be with them and be their doctor necessarily. But uh, you added the essential oils to your second NASCAR team. You have this whole team working on you. Yes, right I now. do. <laughs> okay, so tell me um, your experience with the oils. I'm loving the oils when you're not there at home in the middle of the night. If I do happen to wake up still once in a while, I get the oils out and use them. There are so many oils. So many different uses for each oil and they have helped me tremendously get get through a night if I don't get a night's sleep they, they've helped me sleep better and relax oh, that's a huge plus with fiber it really is they've helped clear my mind uh, all kinds of things are you replacing some of your medications I have been able to stop all my medication and like I have trouble oh. with ulcerative colitis but with your help and then the help of the oils, uh, I believe it's it's helping me. Like I use the peppermint and put it on my stomach if, I, if my stomach hurts and it, it tends to uh, make the pain better and help me relax and calm down and go back to sleep. Do you use it for your headaches? And I use it for the headaches. There's something called M-grain and I've been using it, where, uh, applying it to the spot where it may hurt and then inhaling some of the oil and it really does help a lot. It's wonderful. Great, because I know you're excited about the oils and you're recommending it. Very, I'm actually right now, I ran out and I'm having oil withdrawals. <laughs> <laughs> I know they are addictive and uh, I didn't want to like them and I couldn't help myself. Me either. They're great for aromatherapy, for stress. They're, um, they're wonderful for my sinuses. I have a lot of allergies and sinus trouble. I've been putting the lavender here and here for sinuses and it really has helped a lot and I'm out of my lavender and I can't wait to see that package on my doorstep again. I'm looking out there every day just waiting for it to come with my lavender and other oils that I've run out of like my peace and calming. And you clean with it. You told yes. me you clean with your feet yesterday. I need to try that. You do. Um, I, I took about a gallon of water and added 10 to, 10 to 20 drops. I probably put 15 drops in and I cleaned my floors, my tile floors with that at home and it smelled like Christmas in the room. It smelled cinnamony, very nice and fresh and, and it really, I could tell, killed the germs without harming my lungs and my, I'm trying to detoxify my body right now. It's going through right. detox and I believe that that helps to, to pay attention to what, not to use harsh cleansers on your, on your body or on your floor. And it doesn't sound, smell like pine salt, mm -hmm. so that's good. Thank you so much, and we'll check in with you just down the line. Thank you. 